So we're talking about relevance. We're talking about exposure. We're talking about uh, some experience. Um, as, a, as a recruiting firm, as a startup recruiting firm, what you want to do, you want to place people, you want to place professionals uh, that is related to an area uh, that you have an experience. You have a level of exposure, okay? Whether it's through academia, um, obviously professionally will be the ideal uh, experience and exposure. Uh, what that does basically it puts you right in the shoes of those professionals you're looking to place, right? And that helps you tremendously in terms of the conversations and the relationship between you and those companies you're going to be playing those professionals. So as a startup recruiting firm, you want to have an experience uh, pertaining to the professionals or that profession uh, in which you pull candidates and you place candidates out of. All right. So obviously, as a recruiter, one of your job is to prepare those candidates for interview. So you have to be technically sound. And when you already have some exposure, uh, some working experience, um, again, lastly, I did mention it could be from academia. Right. Uh, you can relate and you can have that conversation in preparing your candidates to send them to your clients. Right. Furthermore. Uh, you're going to be able to have a great deal of conversation with um, with the can with the client, right? You could have pertinent conversation and discussions pertaining to the requirements that the client is looking for because you have a firsthand experience, you have a firsthand exposure to the sort of person, the sort of professional they're looking for, right? So you want to have um, a level of exposure, a level of experience. Um, when you hit the ground running, when you when you start recruiting as a startup recruiting firm, you want to have an area, a niche, right, to start up off, right. And uh, it, I'm not saying that you cannot grow your business. I'm not saying that you cannot go beyond uh, that particular that one particular uh, that area that you place candidates, right. In the future, once you've come to know and understand the overall dynamics associated to recruiting, associated to sourcing, associated to um, uh, business development, associated to uh, marketing, associated to the whole life cycle of, 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 of um, uh, uh, recruiting, right? The whole life cycle of recruiting, you can expand. You can expand and, and recruit different, different people with different, different skill set. But first thing is to start from an area you have an experience. All right. I hope this helps. I'm going to do a little bit more recording throughout time, maybe once a month, something like that. And I hope you can take away something that will help you establish a successful, sustainable recruiting firm in whatever area you have an experience, some level of exposure. Uh, subscribe and uh, feel free to follow. Feel free to um uh, send me a message, comment as well. I'd love to see you chime on this conversation. We'll talk soon.